All right, second graders, welcome back for another rendition of Lulu Walks the Dogs. So last time, Lulu purchased some things in order to help her walk the dogs. She bought a, the cheapest dog biscuit she could find. She bought a really cheap flute, toy flute from the store, and she um, borrowed a beginner's German book. So right now we're going to have a series of very short chapters that we're going to read. Okay. Chapter 14. She didn't. Brutus hated Lulu's cheap dog treats. Pookie yelped when Lulu toot, toot, tootled the toy plastic flute in her ear. And Cordelia, who either did not understand or pretended not to understand Lulu's German, kept right on hiding. In other words, Tuesday was just as bad as Monday. Fleshman, who was hanging around, asked if Lulu could asked if he could help her. Lulu sighed and said a grouchy, okay. Chapter 15. Lulu bought better dog biscuits, practiced harder on the flute, and memorized saying memorized sayings in German, though it made her want to throw up. You are the best, most beautiful dog in the world. But Wednesday was worse than Tuesday and Monday combined because Brutus wouldn't start walking and Pookie wouldn't stop, stop yelping and Cordelia hid so well that she couldn't be found. In addition to which, Brutus missed and pooped all over Lulu's foot, maybe on purpose. Fleshman, who was hanging around, asked if he could help. Lulu sighed and said a grouchy, okay. Chapter 16. On Thursday morning, after a morning, twice as bad as Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday combined, Lulu told Fleshman she'd hire him as her assistant and she would pay him $13 a week. The end. It's a trick there. All right, so ooh, three bad mornings for Lulu and Fleshman is there to help, but then she finally did it. She hired him as her assistant. She's going to pay him. He's going to help her. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see you next time.